Hi, I'm Brian Abbott and I'm Chairman of the Australian SMSF Members Association and today I'm talking solely to the Generation X of you out there. They're the people who were born uh, after 1964 and before 1982. You guys had a really hard time. Um, I'm a baby boomer and I make no apology about it. I mean, your parents are probably the same and they make no apology. Um, we were lucky, we had free education, you know, free love, we had, you know, everything was laid on the plate for us. We had great employment. Uh, unfortunately, Gen X, you guys have really had it hard. You, you went through Australia's last recession in 1990 and also 1991 when there's huge swathes that are taken out of the workforce. Uh, a lot of males lost their full-time job. In fact, there was 540,000 men retrenched in 1992 alone. And that had a big impact on your working life or your parents or whatever. Uh, I found with Gen X that you're also probably the first generation where uh, quite often spouses are working both combined. Uh, unlike baby boomers, usually the mum stayed at home, but now you've got a position where they both had to work all the time. Now that's been hard because you've been trying to raise a family, pay off a mortgage, all that sort of stuff. But at the end of the day, it's actually been good. Believe it or not, you guys are the absolute kings of superannuation. You know how your parents have got super and they talk to you about super? Don't listen to them. You know, they've got nothing in super. Gen X, you guys out there have got around about uh, six in inside superannuation around about six hundred million dollars sitting in super just in your accounts. Imagine if you bandied that all together, all got together and started voting with that uh, voice. That would certainly make a big difference. The thing about Generation X that I'm finding now is that you guys are starting to do a lot more research about where your super is. You know, you're not being ignorant anymore or blissfully ignorant and saying, well, you know, I don't care, I've got super out there, it means nothing to me. Many of you got balances of 100, 150, 200 and potentially up to $300,000. You've been in the super guarantee system for a long, long time and now that money's there sitting idly in a number of accounts or in one or two accounts that it's not being managed by you. And the good thing I know about Gen X is you guys are self-controlling. You guys like to do things yourself. That's why the block is so famous. You know, you want to get out there and do things yourself. So the strategy for you is to actually liberate that money, find out where your superannuation is, and I would strongly suggest that you actually start to use it and investigate a lot further around self-managed super funds. I've got around about 30 or 40 videos on YouTube, so go and have a look at a lot of those as to areas that you really like to poke your nose in and finding out what a self-managed super fund is, how to set one up, how to negatively gear inside a self-managed super fund. Share investments in there. You know what to do. Remember, at the end of the day, you guys are going to live to age 90, 95. There's really not going to be any age pension for you. Your parents may end up, particularly if they haven't got a huge amount of money, they're going to end up living with you. God forbid, imagine what that's going to be like. You're going to have kids and parents living with you because they're not going to be able to afford age care. So you really need to start to take control of your, your super. Use a self-managed super fund. Look at acquiring property. You can now borrow up to 80% on the value of a property. Go in and set up a property. You know, if you've got $100,000 in super, you can go and get a $400,000 apartment and you're off and running in terms of your SMSF strategy. First thing, also make sure you get a good advisor, but do all your research first. If you need to, make sure you contact us at SMSF Strategies or um, at, at go to the Australian SMSF Members Association. Have a look at that and effectively what you can do there is find out who's a really good advisor for you. Anyway, it's Grant Abbott, Chairman of the Australian SMSF Members Association, signing off.